Hello, Chef Ivan Flowers, and welcome to Cooking with My Pickle. And for those of you that's your first show, you might ask what the pickle is and how one cooks with a pickle. I'm going to show you the pickle. Pickle is my sous chef, my buddy, one of my best friends in the world, and a taster. Already she's looking, and she's deciding what she's going to eat. So back to pickle in a minute. As I always say, touch pickle, wash your hands. Quick hand wash. I'm excited today because I'm going to do a quick, healthy ramen dish. Basically, most of these things you have in your fridge, and it's a way to do a soup that is so, so healthy, so quick, so easy, and so many options, okay? I am using chicken stock, three cups, low salt. You can use veg stock or you can use a fish stock. I've got my stock up to a simmer. I'm just going to let that simmer a little bit. What do I put in the stock? Remember, this is a quick extraction, almost like a court bouillon where you pull the vegetables out quickly. What's a court bouillon? What's a court bouillon thing? is usually a stock, celery, onions, maybe a little bit of garlic, lemon, and wine that's usually used to, uh, for fish, like to poach shrimp or to poach fish. And it's done quickly, where it's drawn out quickly. So this is very, very similar, but we're making um, a soup. So you're Behind not the using camera, wine. by the way, my lovely wife, Tracy. Yes, my dear. You're not using wine with this? No. Because it's for the ramen. Yes. Okay. Yes, no wine. Could you? Yes. Could you put a touch in? Yeah. Yes, you could. All right. Okay, simmering. So, to go into the stock, I have about half a carrot. I have jalapeno, How about much? a half. Is it real? No, no seeds. All right. You can use Thai chili. I have half a cup of celery, three slices of lemon, or if you can find it, lemongrass, one shallot, one scallion, a teaspoon of black peppercorn, a bay leaf, and one clove of garlic. It's all going to slide in. Does it matter how you slice them? Slice them thin and slice them small so they can extract quickly. If they're big, it's going to take a long time. So, I'm going to go up on my flame. And I'm going to spread out all my vegetables. What I used was the low sodium chicken stock. I'm going to touch more in. Could you use veggie stock? Yeah, veggie fish stock, anything you wish. Okay. Now we're going to let this come to a boil and then I'm going to take it down to a simmer. And that's going to happen very quickly. Very quickly. So, let's move on. I want to show you some other things. I'm putting in shrimp and a little bit of chicken and all I simply did was cook my shrimp in the pan very very quickly or you can boil it roasted my chicken it was a chicken cutlet that I cut super thin two minutes on each side just for a little chicken and a little shrimp do you do it thin so it will the broth will heat it up or does it matter again thin because the broth will heat it up there's a term called um, shabu shabu that the Japanese use where some of them will sometimes go raw and pour the boiling soup over the protein and actually cook it in, in the soup. But I cook this a little bit. I like to do as much of a tilt as I can. And already I can smell the extraction, that beautiful fresh vegetable. I am going to go in with a little sriracha. Just for a touch of heat and a touch of flavor. Why do you call this a ramen, but could you use spaghetti or something if you, you didn't could. have ramen? You could. Spaghetti, bucatini, soba noodles, linguine, 
I like it where it's a long pasta. And what we've done, we boil water in the microwave, three minutes, I throw the ramen in for another two, and then I drain it. I don't use the flavor packet. So I have a nice ramen. Okay, now what do I want to add to that? I'm coming to a beautiful simmer, and I can smell the sriracha, I can smell the garlic, the carrots, that celery. It smells like my grandmother's kitchen. I'm going to show you what I'm going to place. Jalapeno, about a tablespoon. Snow peas, or snap peas, or green peas, about a quarter of a cup. I like a little more scallion. And I'm going to put some julienne carrots, all raw, because the broth is going to cook this. Okay? I reserve my cilantro. Just a touch of salt, not a lot, doesn't need it. Just a touch of pepper. Beautiful, beautiful bowl, okay? Gently, I like to go around. I'm gonna place my shrimp. Now you're doing this live, so it's very quick. The longer you cook the aromatics with the broth, the stronger it becomes. Is yes. that right? Yes. You can go <coughs> on a simmer. You can go about 15 to 20 minutes on this. It's a good question. And can you do the broth ahead and strain it and then reheat it? Absolutely. That's a time saver. Do your ramen ahead too. So you come home, you've had a hard day of work. Ramen's done. Broth is done. Pan comes out. Couple of vegetables. Bang. You're ready to go. Simple. What do you think the optimum time, though, is for the release of the aromatics? I know we're doing this live. On this stuff? Yeah. 20 minutes. 20 minutes okay. is good. Yeah. It'll pull out enough. After that, it doesn't. the vegetables start to lose their integrity. So, again, I want it with flavor, but I don't want it where it overtakes the soup too much with too many combinations of vegetables. 20 minutes seems to be that balance. So... <clears throat> we take, now remember, we're straining everything out directly over our soup, our bowl. I know, you can could, you could see it. Pickle's grunting at my feet. She's getting excited. And there you go, getting a good angle. Yeah, I mean, it, it's beautiful at this point, but we want to finish. Okay, so I like, this is a little sesame oil, touch of spicy. So just a little bit into the soup. I like nice cilantro on top. Lime, really clean, fresh, right over the top. Juice of one whole lime. And of course, chopsticks. And it's just, I'm mixing everything in. I've got all that beautiful broth on the bottom. I've kind of got like, almost like a stew and a salad on top. It's, it's really interesting. And then it just all comes together. I mean, okay, I'll show this to you. You're just spilling broth. Okay. <laughs> I am spilling broth. I'm trying to get a good camera angle. I know. Can you make this soupier or less soupier? Right? Some yes. people may want more liquid or less, depending. I, yes. I actually went a little less so I could actually... Um, get an angle where I could go a little bit with the camera. <laughs> and look what happens. Yes, you can go to the top. There's plenty of broth here. Now, <clears throat> we want to try it. I'm going to take some shrimp.
Mm. Mm. Just enough spice, the lemon, the garlic, the whole thing blends. And the broth is right there. I'm not a huge spice guy. It's not overly spicy. I'm going to give pickle a little taste. Let me go get her. And I'm back. We'll see. She's not big with spice. But she likes it. So again, Chef Ivan Flowers from beautiful San Diego, California. A quick, healthy ramen. This is simple. You can do this. Go to the grocery store, have these things. Well, well, you're laughing. Pick, pickles running around. She's crazy for the chicken. Um, like I said, cooking is too, uh, too hard to take seriously. So Too important to take so seriously. Too what? <coughs> too important to, too take, important so to take so seriously. <laughs> have fun. This is an absolutely beautiful dish. For two people, you can make it for four. Um, it's healthy. There's no guilt. It's good for you. We'll see you next time on Cooking with Mike Pickle.